Hello everyone. My name is Parth Panchal and uh, welcome you in the last session of this Python programming webinar. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in today's session, we'll make a Python script and using this using that Python script, we'll send an email to all of you, which I have a list of emails. So let's create one folder over here. And I'll name it Python or uh, just a final project. All right. Now inside this folder, I'll make a uh, Python script. And I'll name it script.py. Uh, Perfect. I'll open it in Visual Studio Code. Just a second. All right. So here is our Python script.py, which is empty now, and we'll uh, do some coding over here. So for that we have we have to install a Python module which is called named as a SMTP lib and uh, the SMTP lib module will help us to send an email using Python programming. So you can install Python mod this this Python module using Python library. So when you go on pyp.org uh, in your browser, uh, you will see some interface like this. And uh, in this website, uh, uh, we have a bunch of uh, Python modules which uh, which are already built using Python programming. And we can use uh, so various methods and functions of those modules uh, in our Python script without uh, uh, writing, uh, writing that uh, functionality uh, using core code core programming. So um, for sending an email using Python, we'll use SMTP lib module. And now let, let me search SMTP lib over here. Uh, and it will give me some output like this or result like this. So let's uh, check this pip install pycopy.smtp lib. No, we don't want that. Uh, we just want SMTP lib library. So to install SMTP lib li library, we just uh, open up the terminal or CMD in a Windows. And uh, for installing the SMTP lib, we'll just uh, type pip install SMTP lib. Uh, as you, you can see, we have found that nothing uh, uh, could not find a version that satisfied the requirement SMTP lib, uh, which means we have successful, I've already installed SMTP lib on my machine. And uh, uh, when you install Python on your machine, it's uh, by default install, uh, the SMTP lib module is by default uh, installed uh, during installing, Py installing Python. So you don't need to manually install again where if you have in successfully installed Python in your machine. So now let's uh, make a script using SMTP lib module to send an email. So for that, let me import that module import using import keyword. SMTP lib. All right. Let me zoom a little bit so that you can really visible. Okay. So now let's uh, type our or store our email ID and password uh, in one variable. 
so gmail underscore user equals to i'll use my email id over here to send you or send send an email you can type it uh, your own email address and gmail password i'm not gonna type my password over here so uh, you just have to type your password in this field suppose this like like this uh, but i'm not gonna do that over here uh, now for sending an email uh, means uh, hum mujhe kisko send karna hai so uske liye maine ek list banayi hai final project now let's make a txt file make an txt file and i'll name it email stock txt in this email dot txt i'll paste all the emails list which i have already collected mm. just a second so these are the emails uh, which you have used to regi register in the this webinar and uh, i have pasted those emails list over here and i will simply close this file as you can see i have named it as emails.txt and uh, we are coding in a py in a, in script.py py file so to access this emails.txt file in our python coding file we will simply use open keyword in the python programming to access this file so i'll simply use file or email file equals open and then i'll simply just pass the name of this file emails.txt all right and i uh, i have to pass one more parameter over here and uh, we have we are using this file to read uh, read the content or read the content from this file so simply we just uh, type r in the next uh, field uh, if you want to perform some write operation or you want to modify this file you you have to mention this uh, w keyword over here uh, but i don't want to modify this file so i, I just uh, insert this r this r stands for reading and w stands for writing all right so now we have to store we we have to collect this variables in a list in a python list or we have to collect this uh, whole emails in our python list for that i'm going to use i'll use a for loop for uh, index and or see, i'll simply just for i in email file first of all i, I have to declare a may variable emails equals to i i have to declare this empty list first in which i'm going to uh, i'm going to store this uh, emails for i in emails email file emails dot append email or simply just i all right now let's print uh, this emails variable emails uh, list and let's see what uh, what uh, what output we we are getting so we have to open this uh, terminal from our uh, root directory not root directory but our project directory so for that you just uh, have to type this cmd over here and it will open up this uh, cmd now let's run this uh, python script using python script dot py so as you can see i have collected all this uh, emails list but as you can see we are getting this backslash n over here in uh, at the end of every email but uh, i don't want this backslash n so for that we'll simply just uh, uh, use python's inbuilt module uh, inbuilt function dot strip 
this dot strip uh, will uh, remove all the unnecessary character or blank spaces. Suppose the blank space is called as a, like this. Suppose I have a string of my email, panchalparth.8401.gmail.com. And if I have a space uh, at the end of this string, then this is called as a blank space in, in the Python programming. And we can remove it by using dot strip method. So after removing the uh, dot strip, uh, the, the blank space will get uh, output like this. As you can see, all the backslash n was gone, is gone. Now, now we have the list of emails, but uh, how do we send this, uh, send an email to uh, all of you? How do I share, uh, send this? Uh, for that, I'm gonna use this SMTP lib library. Uh, for that, I have to create a <clears throat> create an SMTP server. Uh, to create an SMTP server, just uh, type uh, or wait a second. You just have to declare a variable for sending or a body and uh, hit a subject of that email. Suppose I'm sending this email from this year from this user or from this email ID. So for that, I'm gonna store sent from equals to Gmail user. Sorry, Gmail underscore. There's a little type over here. Now it's correct. Gmail user. Because I'm sending the, this email using this uh, email ID, so I'll create one more variable sent from, then subject of that that email, uh, I will insert Python webinar by ASME and so you. So this is the subject of that email. Now oh, I have to specify the body of that email. So in the in the body section, I'll simply just uh, uh, type hey there. My name is Parth Punchal. Sending you this email using Python programming on webinar. Session four. All right. Now, step off. Uh, we are good to go. Oh, but uh, for that, uh, we have to uh, b uh, merge all of these three things using email text. Email text, and I'll store this. An email text variable. So as you can see, I have uh, inserted three double quotes over here. So this three double quote is used to create or store multiple strings. Uh, if I want to say uh, just a single line string, then I can use a double quote, simply just a double quote. But what if I want uh, to mention this multiple lines of a string, then I can use this uh, double quotes, okay, or triple quotes, sorry, not double quotes. Now we have to specify this from percentage s, then to percentage s, subject will be percentage as and the content will be percentage as. So I'm using string formatting method over here to create email text. Uh, I'll explain you uh, what is email or uh, what is a string formatting in Python and I'll give you one example of it. Just uh, let me create this uh, email text first. Okay. So well, let me show you what is uh,
Python. I'm going to use Python online compiler to explain you what is the email string. Uh, let's say we I, I have a list of uh, names like uh, this a equals to or I just uh, name it as countries list you <clears throat> all right and I'll just uh, simply store the country's name over here India America then Canada and and Russia all right so uh, what if I want, uh, and now what if I want to print uh, an output, uh, I want to get an output like this, the name of countries, then simply semicolon, India, America, Canada, and then Russia. Uh, so I want to get get this output uh, output like this. Uh, so for that I'm going to use string formatting. Uh, I cannot uh, simply just uh, use uh, Python's uh, inbuilt function like uh, using this. I cannot concatenate this uh, string with this list. No. Simply just run it. So as you can see, I'm getting the output like this. But I don't want this square bracket and this uh, quotation mark over here. I just want this uh, comma, comma. All right. So for that, I'm gonna use uh, Python's dot join, or we can, we call as a string formatting. For that, I'm gonna use percentage as. So this percentage as it describes the countries or a list of countries. Now I just uh, use percentage mark over here and simply comma dot join countries. All right. Now let's run this uh, code. As you can see, we are getting successfully. Uh, we have removed this uh, the square brackets and uh, quotation mark. So this is how we can use string formatting in Python. And using string formatting, you can create a string like this. So we are using this string formatting technique in our Python script. So I. Uh, as you can see, I have multiple percentage as variables. Now I simply just uh, from I uh, in the form field uh, from field I will simply just pass this sent from sent from uh, for this two field will simply just uh, add emails. And in the, on, in this sub, the subject field, will we have subject variable? And and in this body field, we are we are using this body keyword or this body variable, in which we have we have inserted this string or the email content. So we have this email text. So I want to send this email text to all of this email list or all of these emails. So for that, we have to create a server, SMTP server. Uh, for that, I'm going to use SMTP server and then SMTP leap dot SMTP underscore SSL. So as you can see, this SMTP lib dot SMTP SSL is provided by this SMTP lib module. 
So we don't need to code or manually write our own Python server and activate it. Uh, it is uh, everything is provided by this SMTP lib module, so we can you use it in our Python script. Uh, for SMTP lib dot SMTP SSL, um, it requires uh, two parameters. One is for uh, server name, and the other is for uh, port uh, port number. So um, I'm gonna sending. Uh, I'll send you this email using Gmail uh, Gmail uh, provider. So I will simply just type SMTP dot Gmail dot com. If you want to send an email using Yahoo server, then you can use a dot Yahoo over here instead of Gmail. And for the port number, I'm going to use 465. This is the by default port number in which uh, we can we, we can send the emails to multiple multiple parties. <clears throat> Now I'll use for index and email in enumerate two. Or simply just emails. I don't have to. Uh, so we have one more new function which is enumerate. So what's enumerate? And let me just pass it and explain you what in, what in, enumerate function do. So suppose we have a list of countries like uh, before, and uh, I want to get all the index of this as well as the name of the the uh, uh, what uh, the the elements. All right. So using for name in countries. print name as you can see we are getting only this india america canada and russia so we are getting only this uh, name of this email or this entity but we are not getting any index number uh, or what's the position of this uh, entity in this list so to get the position or index number we'll simply use enumerate function enumerate function and uh, for enumerate function will give us the index number as well as the name or the entity element of this list so we'll get index as well as name all right so now i'll print index as well as name Now let's run this script. So as you can see, we are getting uh, this uh, position number as, as well. And someone just uh, turn on their camera. So this is how we can use the enumerate function in Python and get, we, get, we can get this index as well as the name of this list or element from the list. So we are using this enumerate function in our script to get the email as well as the index position of all the emails which we have stored over here. Now let's uh, send this email. For that we'll use try and accept block. Try SMTP server. So, uh, no, it's not now, but uh, before uh, sending email, you, uh, email using SMTP lib, we have to log in ourselves uh, using these credentials, <clears throat> this email and this password. Um, I, I haven't uh, pasted my password over here. Uh, you have to paste your, uh, your email ID's password in this field. So, SMTP lib dot law dot e h l o so 
So what this dot ehello is? Now ehello is an extended hello. All right, it it stands for extended hello, uh, which is a simple mail transfer protocol, and it will send an email using the SMTP servers. To, uh, uh, so this this will help to initiate the transaction or the process of sending emails. So we have initiated our SMTP lib server using .ehlo. Now I have to log in you use uh, in this SMTP server which we have declared over here. Now we'll simply just SMTP server dot login. Now in this login method, I have to pass uh, two parameters, uh, which is email ID and password, which we I have declared over here. So I'll simply just pass Gmail user and Gmail pass. All right. So after logging, uh, logging in, uh, we can send the emails uh, using this try and accept mod, uh, accept block smtp server dot send mail uh, in this field we will use send from And from email and then email text right so this sent from which I have declared over here is this one all right this email is uh, getting from over here email and the email text is is we have declared over here okay so we have to mention accept block as well. Uh, whenever I you uh, I use this try uh, try keyword or try block, I have to mention this accept accept block as well. This accept block will catch an error if our program is facing in a, any error or there is some bug in a while execution. We'll get error as e. We'll get an exception as e. And now we will print this exception if uh, in case our uh, program crashes and don't work error while sending email number then I'll simply just uh, add index which we are getting from this using enumerate function so it will give me uh, in which email I'm getting this error, in which email number. All right. And now I'll print this error as E using this str, which uh, we, we can use to convert any data type to string. Now, after sending an email using dot send mail, uh, I'll simply just print email at the index position. is sent all right so at every time uh, when i send email i'll simply just print this uh, email at position one is sent email two is sent email three is sent so this will give us um, give me output like this and what try and accept method uh, block will do this try method will keep trying to send an email all right uh, if it faces any error or exception, it will catch and give us a output like this. Okay. Now, successfully we have sent an email, but uh, uh, for after sending an email, I'll simply just print all emails are sent. Now I'll close this SMTP server, which I have created over here. SMTP server dot close. Okay. So that's it for the uh, coding part. Now let's check this script is executing and giving us the correct result or not.
So before uh, executing the script, I have to mention my password over here, but uh, I'm not gonna do this in uh, in the screen sharing. So I'll simply just uh, move this screen to my another screen. And after that, I'm, I'll execute in front of you. So uh, I, I have successfully insert, insert, inserted the, my password in, the, in that uh, parameter or variable. Now let's run this script. Using Python. Script.py. SMTP has no model dot AHLO. We are getting one error at line 27 in our program. So let me just check what's the error. So the error was at line number 27. So what I've changed here is uh, before that I've just uh, used SMTP lib dot EHLO. All right. Instead of using the, uh, this SMTP lib uh, directly, I have to uh, use this function on SMTP server, which we have created over here. So that was our bug. Uh, instead of using direct SMTP lib, uh, we have we have to use this dot ehlo or initiate our server on this uh, smtp server variable so i have inserted my password and uh, now let's run this script again just let me just drag this screen let's run this script again As you can see, email zero is sent, email one is sent. So it is sending uh, sending all of you an email and you will get an email uh, right now. As you can see, I have a bunch of email list. So it's sending all of you an email. So these are my emails, emails list, and I'm sending you this email, email 20 and email 21. So these are the emails list. There's a bunch of, lot of emails, and I'm keep sending it. I hope you will get the email. Thus was, you who have got this email can type in chat. If you have permission, I don't know. Yes, it's successful. So Aditya Shah has uh, got an email. So we are still sending 53. 54 so we have sent 55 emails so there are a lot of emails uh, now let's keep this script executing for those who have got this email can simply just type it in in the chat Uh, so after sending uh, 
76 emails we are getting the error like uh, please run the connect first all right so we cannot uh, send a bunch of emails uh, in direct in one pass we have to uh, there is a limit on uh, on the smtp lib we can send just uh, 76 or 77 emails uh, in one pass uh, for that we can un connect again and uh, run this script so in the second pass uh, for those who have not got an email we will get this email let me just uh, modify a code for the second pass from number 76 i was getting this error so i will send emails after this 77 76 number all right now let me run this script again it will continue from email 77 all right email 77 78 79 So I've just modified a one line of code or like I've just mentioned if statement in over here. So, so if index is greater than 76, then I want to send the, uh, I want to send an email. All right. So in the, in first pass, I have successfully sent 70, uh, 76 people, uh, this email, uh, but in the second pass where I'll use this condition for those who have not get, received this email. I think we have to pass one more condition. Now let's keep this script executing. So Yashvi said he has got it, Aditya Sen said got it. Okay, Kizar Urashi said got it. So as you can see, this is how we can send an email using Python. So I have really just uh, there is a password in my in this script so i don't want to share it it will, it will take some time because uh, there is a lot of emails so it will take some time to send all of you this email So as you have seen that uh, how e easy it is to send an email using Python and Python provides a lot of other functionalities as well, uh, which help us to automate our daily task. And there are lots of modules we, in the Python, uh, in the artificial intelligence and machine learning field. One forty seven emails signed. We have some some more number. Nisark Prajapati is saying got it. Okay.
after sending all the emails it will notify us with all emails are sent and we'll get we'll get output of all emails are sent so there is some more emails are remaining 175 176 all right we have a lot of email over here so it will take some time so as you can see we are getting some errors while uh, after 180 email number 189 so we'll simply just modify the line by 76 to 189 all right 189 because i want to send an email for those who have who have remained now let's uh, run the script again so it gives us uh, the error again or we'll try again later closing connection so this gives us error like uh, you have successfully sent all the emails uh, in from your account <laughs> means uh, using my account i cannot send uh, further more emails I have to use one on a, a other account to send uh, send an email. So for those who have remain remain or not getting this uh, email, I'm extremely sorry. But uh, that's it for the script or this project. So there is a limitation over here while sending an email. I cannot send. Uh, a lot of email after some point okay but still let me try one more time okay it worked it worked nice perfect we have successfully sent all the emails so hope you have got the emails So this is how we can send an email in Python. Uh, this is the code. You can get the code of this file in, from my GitHub account. I'll paste it uh, on my GitHub and upload this file. You can use this script and just modify this uh, Gmail user with your own email username and uh, insert your Gmail password and script uh, run this script you can use the script to send an email so you can ask me any doubts if you have so just uh, change the permission so that uh, they can unmute themselves Okay. A lot of you have been. You are saying that uh, they have got an email. Perfect. So this was the for final project of this webinar. You can use this script uh, to send an email. You just uh, have to modif modify this uh, subject to your own subject okay and then this body to your own content of that email you can you can also modify you can modify this emails list dot emails dot txt file to your own emails list and you can send your friends this email okay So Patel Nidhi have told that he she didn't get an email. So those uh, for those who have not got an email, maybe there may be a case that uh, you have not entered your correct email address while registering yourself. So due to that reason, 
you couldn't get an email thus who have uh, entered or inserted their correct email while uh, registering this uh, webinar uh, only those will get the email So that's it for the today's session and now we are ending this uh, webinar and all the course session i hope you have learned something during this webinar and uh, if you want to learn more about python then you can simply just uh, follow me on instagram or you can follow my uh, subscribe my youtube channel i'm planning to upload the uh, upload the videos weekly so you can subscribe me over there. Uh, thank you, Mr. Path, for your workshop. Thank you, all of you, for your participation. We hope the experience was as enjoyable for you as it was for us hosting this wonderful event. A sincere and special thank you to our respected speakers, Mr. Path Panchal and Mr. Path Sohangya, from your for your time and for this for their technical guidance on Python for this four day of workshop. As per the participation certificate, within two days, according on the basis of their attendance, you will get your certification. Uh, if anyone have any questions or query, queries, you can ask this right now. Yes, yeah, sure. And uh, you'll get all the social media handler links uh, in, the, in the WhatsApp group. So you will get this, don't worry. If anyone have any queries, you can ask it or we can end the session. Exactly.